Greetings YouTube, Kunis here, and let's continue being Best Korea! Where we last left off, we triumphed over rebels, and we are sieging the crap out of, uh... Luwu, who will give us his final province, 23 Development Coastal Center of Trade, part of our state, South Sulawesi Province. It is going to be so good. Even though right now I really don't earn that much from these guys. I honestly think that uh, the next idea group I'm going to get is going to be economics. Pontiamak has grown self-sustaining. I am not ready. I am just not ready for this. Um, where do I colonize? Muscovy has yet to form Russia still. Which means I can have more opportunities to block him. I might just do that. That's actually one thing, though. Once I declare bankruptcy, I won't be able to colonize for a bit. That might be acceptable. Uh, let's prepare to fight Yeren. Because that's what we were going to do initially. And, uh... Oh, crap, I have no manpower left. Again. What? Just killing all these rebels cost me all my manpower. Again. <sighs> Alright. Despite all these guys. But no manpower. Palembang has grown self-sustaining. Which means we spend less money. We have two glorious Korean provinces. How long until the harmonization of Sunni is done? It's going to be 1569. Idea? I like idea. Land force limit? I don't even need that. I can't afford it. I like me some economic reform. It's gonna go very nice with economic idea, because at this point, I need money. And clearly, I do not make sufficient amounts of that money. Oh crap, I need to, uh... I really need to save up my points for the next military tech now. Ooh, increased production and tax in Pontiamak. Yes! Yes! That is, holy crap, that's a good province. Um, that said... <sighs> Come on, Makassar, you can fall. I'm missing 4,000 manpower. Can I get manpower from anywhere? Do I have professionalism? I have some professionalism. Alright, Makassar has fallen. I now have all of the war score. You will die and give me all your ducats. I get a coalition of people who are already technically in the list. Which includes Yeren, who I want to go to war with. And Luwu will be not in the list anymore. That is acceptable. Okay, he's dead. Kick and Cordis. The fact that I made it a state first means the autonomy is lower, which is really good for me. And it's 23 development. Which is also really good for me. Cannot vote. Come to Japan. Um, I'll not ball the capital fort for now, because I'm still planning to go to war very soon. Uh, keep a horse for here. Japan will just have troops sent his way. And hopefully my giant navy will be enough to, uh, keep the Japanese navy away from me. He has 40 boats out of a maximum of 30. I have 42 boats, which is better than him. I also have a ton of galleys. He has mostly, uh, trade ships and transports. So in a naval battle, I should win. But I'll need an admiral for that. To guarantee it. Um, yeah, and... Hopefully by declaring on him... Oh, wait. I can... Uh, hmm. I can placate this guy twice. Make him listen to me. But I suspect that uh, declaring on Yeren will also help. I'll see what it looks like. I might just placate both of them once instead. Although now I should improve relation with Tondo while I wait. In 
part because re-royal marrying him sounds like a fantastic idea. You auto-transport yourselves to Chikazen because we are going for the second invasion of Japan. Okay. Let's get them into the army now. Um, how much professionalism do I have left? 2.41. That's not much. Am I ready for this? I don't feel ready for this. I feel like that's a very risky proposition, but... You're still super disloyal. You have no other vassals, so your only vassal is currently disloyal. Wait, New World Colonization Right has expired. The merchants are now non-existent. I'll take some ducats for all it's worth. Clergy and nobility want land. Do I have lands for you? Clergy and nobility. There we go. And now... Um... Do I declare on Japan first or on Yeren first? I should declare on Yeren first. Worst case, I can separate piece Japan. I quite like this idea. Who is Japan allied to? Only Yeren, and he has disloyal daimyos. Let's do it. Let us do it. Alright. Now, how disloyal are my vassals? Not at all! Alright, no prestige wasted. Loyal vassals. Yaren's gonna die. This is it. This is it. And now, I own the straight. This beautiful little island at the bottom here. Oh, hello, Japanese Navy. Fancy meeting you here in the Seto Inland Sea. Sank his two galleys and, like, a couple transports. Apparently we're gonna go for round two very soon. Let's go for round two very soon. What is... are you doing something? That looks like... That's the meat, that's the meat of his navy. Okay, I have occupied Hizen. There we go. And his boats are mostly gone. He's even lost a trade ship. Huh. Not bad, not bad. That's a three-star general if I've ever seen one. I could also just pretend that Oda does not exist and try to invade Japan proper. Um, Mongolia is listening to me, which means I can probably count on him to do useful stuff. I have the Wargle. Ashikaga has decided that uh, Hokkaido is important. Not sure why. What tech are you? You're tech 11, you match me in tech. I could just pretend that... Uh, That does not happen. Uh, demand payment in full or make a long-term investment. I could repay a loan right now with this or gain 50 Diplo points. Gain 50 Diplo points because I have a plan to uh, go bankrupt after this anyway. And if I can take up in Diplo, I will do it. This brings me ahead of time, makes my vassals more loyal. Anything to keep annexing this guy. Um... Do I want to try to fight him? I do have four shock. I do have a really freaking good general. Won't deny that. Um, I am very interested in Kyoto. Heck, I am very interested in taking as much war score as possible from this guy. Thing is, can I beat him? That's what I fear. But as long as I keep my boats here, he cannot touch this island, and I have a safe retreat spot. Oh, look, his boats are back. Hello, Japanese boats! Goodbye, Japanese boats! Oh, I sank all of them. There we go. There goes the Japanese Navy. Now, I am sitting on the Yerenese war goal. 
Well, I already have the Oracle. Where's he going? He will not be able to cross the strait because I own it. And he will not actually be able to meet up with my army either. I can effectively keep him trapped on that island. If I park my army on Setsu. Huh. Nice. He is now trapped. Do I have three mercs? I have three mercs. They're ruining my economy, but I have them. Is he gonna respond? He is trying to respond. Wait, I might even be able to split my navy in half. Ah, crap, I didn't make it. Uh, gain five professionalism, which I can immediately spend for manpower. Holy crap, Japan is dying. That was beautiful. But alas, I lost my opportunity to trap him. But I will take a complete victory over him. And there's the loan. It's okay, we'll fix our debt by going bankrupt. What could go wrong? I'll lose both of my friends, but I shouldn't have a coalition at this point. Right, Oirat? Right. Um, I'll just need to make sure to spend all of these as much as possible before I go bankrupt. Uh, if I take Kyoto, I will be able to take a lot of provinces off of his hands. question is, is he going to contest it? I don't think so. Is Oda suddenly loyal? No, Oda is not loyal. Oda has other ideas in mind with his armies. And I am sitting on glorious Kyoto. I wonder if I take it, do I become like Shogun? I've taken Miyugasan. Which means that Yeren is effectively gone. Oh, he's sieging Mongolia right now. That doesn't even bother me. See, he was supporting you and now he's kicking your ass. He is not your true friend. He never was. Um, I feel like I might just be attritioning myself way too much down here. Um... Hmm... Ideally, once I take Kyoto, I might be able to, like, just make a snake to Kyoto. Yeah. This appeals to me. And then once I become Emperor, or rather, take Kyoto, no one will be Shogun. Or maybe I will be. I don't really want to be Shogun. But uh, maybe I would become Shogun. That'd be funny in its own right. Uh, subjects are mildly loyal right now, but borderline, I still really need to finish eating Tondo. Kyoto has fallen. Can I peace out Japan right now? I only have 19 war score, and he's not willing to capitulate. So no, I cannot peace out Japan. But I am looting the crap out of Kyoto. Um. Hmm. Oh, but the thing is, he has more forts that are technically counting for something. Uh. Is he gonna react? He's reacted. Are we fighting for Kyoto? We are fighting for Kyoto. You have morale on me. But I have the far better general for killing things. Although I have terrible rolls, clearly. At least until it is too late. That is most unfortunate. How much war score do I have against Japan now? Only 19. Okay, Yeren. Let's 
Let's talk about the part where you will not be allied to Japan. I can take some of the Japanese island. I can take my Wargle. Maybe I can take less. Actually, I don't need more of the Japanese island. I just need one province from the Japanese island. And then, whoops. I will not even fully eat you. It will just take some of your coastline. And maybe some of your interior that's worth something. Or that's not worth something? No, that's that's about all I can take. That's still pretty good for me. Coalition only Yaren. He's no longer supporting my vassals. I've taken a province off of Japan. I can kick and core it. Which means now I have a proper foothold the next time I war for Japan. I can make a claim down here. And there's nothing he can do about it. Unless he somehow becomes a better boat person than I am. But I really doubt that that's going to happen. Now. Um, get idea. Esprit de corps. Um, call of the crap I just stole from Yaren. Oh no, my innovate! Ah oh crap, my innovativeness! I forgot about it! Is there anything I can do to save my innovativeness? Either Diplo or Military would work. Can I get Diplo points? Um, I actually could. If I give my merchants land. Merchants! Would you like... Um, Makassar, actually. They would, wouldn't they? That was not enough. I need more. That's not a state. Um, did I make a state out of this? I actually did make states out of the Spice Islands. I can give this to the merchants. Why don't I? Merchants are now at 28%. They need to be even higher. Um. Hmm. I did make a state out of Barguzin, or this place rather, but none of his give like can be given to the merchants. This is not a states. Um. Where else is there a trade center? I could just give Gyonju to the merchants. It's not ideal, but uh, for now it works. Why are they so low? Well, because robber barons happened. Um, hmm. Low trade income. I won't deny that that's happening. Um, collecting trade in Nippon. Nippon. Nippon, indeed. Shoving like a ton of ducats. Nippon is actually worth a surprising amount of ducats right now. But then again, I say this, <laughs> 21 ducats is going to Beijing. <laughs> uh, Beijing is worth so much. I uh, really want Beijing. I won't lie, I really want Beijing. Or I could go down to like Malacca and try to deck get all this straight down. I think it's everything passes by Hangzhou. Hmm. Cannot maximize this trade. Maybe if I stated Chikuzen, I could give that to the merchants as well. But it's expensive to state Northern Kyushu, because it's not its not a great state. It's actually a terrible state. By our uh, Spice Island stand. Holy crap, Malaka ate my food! Malaka, I hate you. You ate my food! That is totally unacceptable. Also terrifying. Because you're also a tributary of Ming. I will lose my friends. You could jump me while I'm bankrupt. There is literally nothing I could do about it. Hmm. I need to fight Malacca if I'm gonna... 
go for the plan of bankruptcy. And I do not have the manpower to do so. Split this army in half. Okay, my poor innovativeness. I must save my innovativeness. Um, yeah, I must save my innovative rebels. Ternatian? Why? Didn't I kill those already? Mm. Extend the damn loan. Right, I'll need to deal with my rebels before I uh, declare bankruptcy, though, because that's going to be really harsh. Um, who's disloyal? No one's disloyal. Okay, Mongolia kind of is. I can keep Tondo loyal. And then by the end of this month be able to re-royal marry uh, Mongolia. There we go. Royal Mary, Mongolia. Okay. Invest in the naval force. I want to focus Diplo. Can I give more stuff to my merchants? Like in the Spice Islands even? Like this? to the merchants. This I cannot give to the merchants, but uh, there's something down here I can give to the merchants. This is a good province. This has been given to nobility. No. Not a state. Eh. You're right with Siak still. I could go claim you and kill you. Um, I did not state this. What did I state? I stated some things over here. Gilim is a state, has a lot of autonomy, but it's a center of trade. My merchants are now at 20%. They have 45 uh, thing. I have to remember that they'll go up to 65. Uh, to 55 rather when robber barons expire in two years. And uh, then we'll have granted monopoly though bring them down again when it expires. I cannot go above 65, How about whatever I do. Grant Admiralship or New World Charters? I don't have any colonists and I don't plan to colonize for a while, so Grant Admiralship. Give me 100 Diplo points. I'm gonna need to tech up in this as soon as possible. In the name of innovativeness, we will use the rest of the points to achieve stability. Maybe to develop things. And then we will declare bankruptcy. The admin points will probably be spent on uh, reducing inflation. Because at this point, there is no way I can pad up the interest. Hmm. I mean, ideally, too, I would finish annexing... Uh, Tondo before I declare bankruptcy. Maybe what I'll need to do. Let's keep the bankruptcy plan in mind. Oh, you're at war with Oirat. Hey, Oirat. How about you die? Since I'm waiting anyway. Right, Oirat? How about you do the dying thing? Troops that are bored? And, uh, I really think I should kill Malacca right now. Um, okay, that does not coalition me. Oh, you're being converted by Su to Sunni. Oh, because Malacca has the center. Uh, that actually doesn't bother me, because I'm uh, harmonizing with Sunni. This mechanic will not actually screw with me. Sunni is about, and by about I mean in... 20 something years going to become proper Confucian religion. Same difference. Yes, Ming, take the damn points. 
Ming is uh, once again doing the blowing up thing. He's never finished his war with Shagatai, did he? Oh, it's a war with John poor Shagatai and a bunch of people. Recall Tondo for now. Improve relations with that one. Okay. Hmm. In theory, if I ignore Udzang, I might be able to piece out Oirad for most, but not all of his stuff, and just pretend that he doesn't exist anymore. This appeals to me. Make him, like, fully landlocked with my borders. No one can eat him. Force migration on Kodint. Oh, hello, Kodint. Maybe I should consume you. Um... Rebel still threatening, but at the same time not. Once these cores are finished, I'll be fine. That's the worst of it. Can I, uh... I don't want to waste Diplo points. I was going to be like, can I, uh... No, I don't want to waste Diplo points. Oh, come on, Yaren. You bastard. You trying to block me? You're probably going to succeed at blocking me. Uh, I don't even think Utsang can do anything. Oh, Shagatai is uh, back to being a tributary of Ming. That is fine. Um, maybe I can leave uh, Chengdu in uh, all your rat hands. Who declared this war anyway? You're the one who's like, I'm attack Yaren while he's dead and friendless. Yep. Great idea that was, wouldn't you say? Um, I will transfer Sisigar to Mongolia for now. I could just eat it this way. That doesn't full annex you? Or maybe it does. Hmm. Then I am better off taking it all for myself and giving it to him to keep him in line. Right? Right. Give me all your ducats. Don't accept. Can I get some ducats? Alright. Okay. And now I will give Mongolia his um, Grand Province Chahar, Grand Province, Chengde, and might as well grant you Sisigar as well. Here, have fun. There we go. Oirat is gone. Oh no, he's not gone. He still has a province over there. What's the point of that? Alright, kick that one and core it. It's an irrelevant chunk of land. But that takes care of that. Oh, you're right now. Would coalition me. I highly suspect that he is going to get killed. Oh, hey. Uh, Utsang refused the call. I didn't even notice. That's even better. Ah, <sighs> oh, crap. It cost me Diplo points, though. Oh, well. Can I... Even if I dump army maintenance, what can I even do? I have so much interest at this point. Um, yeah, I'll need to declare bankruptcy. But until the rebels are killed, that's a really bad idea. And I still want to try to preserve some innovativeness. I don't know how, but I want to preserve some of it. And I would like to take up to uh, military 12. Because 12 is so important. How many... Trust? No, Ming. Can afford this one. I can technically afford another hit, but uh... okay. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I cannot prevent that. Should probably move off of a province that could spawn rebels. And apparently I've reached the episode, so for now, I'll thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time, where we'll continue trying to set up for a uh, well-timed bankruptcy. See you guys next time!